join my colleague Siddharth in welcoming you all once again to this event. Um, so what I'm going to do is tell you briefly about what WRCV is. And uh, Vatvani Research Center for Bioengineering, this is a virtual interdisciplinary research center with focus on bioengineering, as the name says. It was funded through a generous donation from one of our alumnus, Dr. Ramesh Vadwani, uh, through the Vadwani Foundation. It was founded in 2014, and then, uh, <clears throat> since then, we have been growing. Uh, so let me just quickly tell you. So the goal was that IIT Bombay does a lot of bioengineering research, not in just my own department of biosciences and bioengineering, but in many other departments like electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, material science, and so on. And we all wanted to bring everything under a single umbrella and lead to technical innovation and make sure that all our innovations finally leave the lab. And our goal is to become an example of a very successful uh, bioengineering translation ecosystem in India. You know, there are already many challenges of translating technology from academic labs, and we wanted to sort of figure this out ourselves and share what we learn with other organizations. So <clears throat> what I'll do is, next I'm going to introduce the team members. So along, uh, so we have a very capable and a very enthusiastic team in WRCB. So you have already met Professor Talur, who is uh, uh, also a part of the executive committee member. We have Professor Shamik Sen and Professor Mahesh Tirum Kudulu, who are also the executive committee member. And all this is put together uh, by Dr. Abdul Rab, who is our uh, chief executive officer. And we are very excited to have him on board. We are also supported by a very capable staff of uh, project managers so, who look after various uh, activities of WRCV. So you already have met Devanshi, who's uh, uh, sort of uh, been handling this event, uh, the behind the scenes person. And uh, she does the business development and commercialization activities here. Uh, she's uh, also, uh, the other people who are working behind the scenes were Dr. Sneha Ranade, who handles our intramural grants. Uh, uh, who has been handling intramural grants and also will be handling the extramural grants. We have recently welcomed Dr. Meera Thomas, who will be also looking at intramural grants coming forward. And we have a very uh, capable uh, 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 staff member, uh, Ms. Radha Kale, who, who looks after the office and accounts. Uh, so this is broadly the people who are there. Um, so <clears throat> our purpose is, as I've told you, is to translate um, bioengineering research. And uh, this is to fund research and commercialization activities. In that sense, the center is slightly different. So not only do we fund uh, what is called uh, just translational research, but once it moves to a very high TRL level and you know people are ready to incubate a company, we, we support them at that stage. So which is why it's support for both research and commercialization. And we have certain focus areas, which is uh, one is synthetic biology, sustainability, biomanufacturing. Then there's affordable healthcare and medical devices, which is connected to today's event. And we also do uh, have supported a lot of projects on therapeutics. So the way we want to create impact is not just by funding technology, we also want to encourage our students and postdocs to become entrepreneurs and create high value jobs, which is in keeping with the goal of the Vadwani Foundation. And we also want to facilitate the access to certain technology that is developed in IIT Bombay, uh, certain facilities that are there in IIT Bombay for our industry collaborators, which might not be accessible outside. So we have, we have certain value propositions for uh, very uh, different um, engagements. So we have something for uh, academia, where you know we give funds, we uh, put you in touch with uh, our um, <clears throat> industry collaborators. Uh, we also uh, sort of help you in uh, translating technology, actively looking out for licensing opportunities and so on. We are going to help you now raise external funding. So all PIs who have been supported by WRCB will now be given a specific service to raise external uh, funding. And we will hear later today from Dr. Savita Ayer more about this activity. Uh, we also have uh, certain value propositions for industry and uh, for uh, the entrepreneurs. So for industries, we, uh, we can co-fund collaborative research projects. So if you bring in some funding, we will put in a, 
uh, matching funding as well. And you know, you can have that research project conducted at IIT Bombay. Uh, of course, as I said, we have facilitated access to resources and also forged collaborations in other ways. So for example, you want a certain course for your company, uh, we can develop that course and we can deliver it and so on. So there are a lot of different activities that we are going to start and we are also very excited about that. Uh, for entrepreneurs, as I've said, not only we just give them commercialization funds, once they become a company and they start raising funds, we also actively connect them to um, angels and VCs uh, uh, through a business development function to, uh, to raise further funding. So starting from the, your research when it's at seed level till the time when it's actually become a company, we are planning to support throughout in our ecosystem. So uh, we have four focus areas here, and these focus areas are, uh, so I'm going to run a little bit quickly through these. Um, these are diagnostics, as you know, and the keywords that you might see here are the uh, keywords that, uh, the research that we have funded over the last seven years. Okay, so something is not okay with the slide, but let me anyway try. Uh, so there, there's diagnostics, there's therapeutics, there's medical devices, and uh, there's synthetic biology and sustainability. These are our goals, and uh, we, we have funded uh, more than 60 projects in all of these areas until now, and many of them have actually gone forward. So the process of funding is that we find need statements, uh, not just by PIs, but we look at websites of other organizations such as Gates Foundation, PATH, Good Food Institute, even clinicians, and, and then we, we disseminate them, we connect, uh, uh, we share it with our PIs, and then uh, we have certain calls for proposals, so uh, these uh, uh, proposals are then received. And while in many funding agencies, what we do is we only look at the um, technical part of the proposal. In WRCB, while the proposal is being reviewed and it's gone to technical reviewers, we also look at, uh, we use certain consultants uh, this ICT, in this ICT school, in um, our um, IRCC, the Dean R&D's office together to look at the patent landscapes, whether there's any chance of any uh, new knowledge being generated, new IP being generated. <clears throat> We look at the market potential uh, through uh, also our consultants and so on, and then these projects get funded through uh, translation funding. So after these projects have run through and they have reached a certain TRL, let's say TRL five or six, then what we do, we invite them to apply for our commercialization funding, and that's when we connect. And this is something we do very closely with Sign, our incubator, and, and then we connect them to other uh, 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 funding agencies. So. Um, <coughs> so going forward, um, so as, I, as we said, our major goal is to uh, create a big translational ecosystem, right? But then there are certain sub-goals that we have set for ourselves. One is that we wish to raise about 20 crore of research funding and 10 crore of commercialization funding every year, which is a very ambitious target, but this is something we are planning to work towards. We also, from our technologies, want to spin off about five startups per year. Uh, we want to do certain industry outreach. So, as, so we have now uh, started or renamed our industry research partnership program where we are uh, actively looking for industry partners to do collaborative projects with us. And finally, we also want to set up our own capabilities for infrastructure building. So. Uh, research methodologies, the way things work, as well as certain high value equipment and everything together. So that again, as we said, that it can be useful and we look really forward to working with other such centers in IIT Bombay. So uh, just a quick glance at our um, impact. So over the last seven years, we have filed about 50 plus patent applications. This is basically all the WRCB PIs who have been funded by WRCB at some point, led to a lot of publications. We have had actually, the numbers is three, but we have actually four startups now, and uh, that have come up uh, very, uh, in very recently. Uh, we have 22 external collaborations, we have raised funding, and we have managed to bring in a lot of faculty members in IIT Bombay uh, as part of our WRCB uh, team. So, uh, just a list of a couple of, uh, a few startups that have been incubated by the WRCB PIs. So we have Immuno Act by Dr. Rahul Purwar, who uh, they 
came up with India's, um, uh, you know, first indigenous CAR T cell therapy, and that's actually going under uh, through clinical trials now. They've raised strategic funds from outside. We have Clarity Biosystems from uh, Dr. Uh, Pramod Wangikar. Uh, so this is about business development uh, and fundraise state. Uh, they uh, do advanced mass spectrometry algorithms, so for a lot of newborn screening, which is very important. Metflux uh, is uh, by Dr. Venkatesh, which is on a systems biology platform. And finally, we have had algorithmic biologics. This company came up during the pandemic. Uh, and uh, it's basically about pooling samples. So uh, uh, this company started uh, by Dr. Manoj Gopal Krishnan. So we have a bunch of industry partners over the years. Um, again, I'm not going to read out. And what we finally uh, would like to request you is to partner with us. So uh, in, you can collaborate in the industry projects, you can have license IP, invest in the entrepreneurs, and participate in, uh, with us uh, through CSR funds. And I'm going to leave here with some very quick announcements. So we are revamping our website. It will be live very soon. So please uh, uh, watch out for it. Follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn to know more about what's happening. Uh, but two of the very important new updates is we are going to fund early PhDs who are senior PhDs and postdocs through a uh, uh, entrepreneur uh, uh, scientist entrepreneur fellowship so that you know after they graduate, they can actually take the technologies forward. And this commercialization grant call, we have recently had one call, and we are going to have another very soon. So with this, I'll leave you here. Thank you.